Hi everybody, welcome back to our Home Again project. Um, <clears throat> excuse me, let me set this aside. So in our last video, this is by the way a design team project for Country Craft Creations. We are using the beautiful Home Again collection from Cartabella. And black linen and craft artisan cardstocks. And we also have a black seam binding as well as this beautiful mossy green and this cafe au lait color. And this is it. So we have them all together. And then I have these beautiful beads and this buffalo check. Or I think it's, I don't know, black and white check, whatever that is. And the last time we made these two pages. So we set those aside and we're going to make two more pages today. So this page, I only have one side. I hadn't decided what I was going to do on the other side. I kind of have an idea, but we'll get back to it. Um, again, there's a cutting guide down below. Go ahead and get that. It's free, of course. And you'll have all the parts. Now, you've already seen me make these pages. I probably should have made all four of them so you don't have to see it again. Maybe I'll just edit this out. Um, but this is just the base page that I'm making. Okay. And where's my tape? Here it is. Okay, I've got my base page made, and now I have my pieces here. All right, got all my mats. Okay, so that mat's going to be going on the base. This is a pocket, which I think I may actually put on this side. Yeah, so let's pocket for that side. It's going to get this check, and then this is going to be a flap that's going to go like that. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay, so that's this situation. All right, so let's go ahead and make the pocket. And you have all your measurements. Just go ahead and, and do that based on what I've got in the cutting guide. on that flap as well while we're at it. Oops. If I could pick it up. Oops. Hey, Jolly. Okay. This is stuck. Okay, there we go. All right, Jolly, you're kind of in the way. Nobody can see. Little big purrs. You don't care, huh? Hi. Have a little bit of snuggle time. Okay. Right, I'm just cutting off the corners. That's the flap. And I'm just trimming at an angle and not going through where those crisscross. You don't want to cross your um, score lines. Okay. And then we'll trim again outside the score lines. You don't have to trim corners if you don't want to. Well, you do have to trim these corners. You don't have to trim these upper corners if you don't want to. I just like the reduced bulk at the top if you do that. Okay, so now what I'm going to do first is let's bring our page over. And it's going to go here. And I'm just checking it. Don't want to dry fit. It should be good. Okay. There you go. You really want to burnish this well. You want a nice flat pocket. Okay. Just like that. 
just going to lift up the tape here on the sides a little bit. That was jolly. And then, and then put the bottom down so it sticks. Okay, and then I'm just going to peel the tape. Whoops, I shouldn't have taken all the tape off that corner, but that's all right. hair on it. I'm sorry, I'm going to lift this up where I can see it. I'm just lining up corner and that side edge. And then we're going to come over to this side and make sure everything's lined up nicely. And it is before we pull this tape off and this tape off. There we go. Okay, now I'm going to put this down, the flap, so we need to figure out where to put either our magnet or our tie, and I'm leaning towards a magnet, just eyeballing the center here. Okay with that because this side here is going to be done in the hinge. Okay, there we go. Perfect. Okay, now we need magnets. Take two. Okay. Let's see. I think right about there looks good. chosen a mat for this side but I do have the mat for this side which is this and I'm just checking to see I cut all my mats just a little bigger than I thought I was going to need so I do have to trim that down a little bit so that's going to go in there on this project. I like the crisp look of the edges. pages I did. Yeah, see, I've got that there. I'm pretty sure I was going to do that. Lines. Oh, good thing I checked. Okay. So the lines are going on there. Cute. Now, I don't have anything for the back of this. I have two ideas that I'm thinking about, so we'll get back to that. Set that one aside. Now we have this one. It looks like I pre-taped this one. That's good. 
Sorry, I had to rescue De uh, Jolly. She was trying to get in the trash. Okay. So what we're going to do on this page is we have got four flaps. They're all the same. You'll have your measurements. And they are going to go one, maybe there. One, two in the middle. I was going to do them offset, but actually that'd be pretty in the middle. Okay, so one, no, I want them offset. Don't look better. One, two, three, and four, like this. Okay? So I'm going to put each one in half an inch, um, half to three quarters, I haven't decided, from its corner. So what you're going to have, move these aside. They're all the same, but you're going to have two that are horizontal, so you need two horizontal mats if you have directional paper, and two vertical mats. And then you've got your flaps, which you'll get your dimensions from the cutting guide. So I am going to go ahead and tape these. You do not need to trim the corners of these because they're kind of like, even though they're not a waterfall, they have a similar... Um, construction. They're going to be hidden well under the mat. There she is, trying to get back in the trash again. I am um, in the process of cleaning and packing up my house, and I have a bag that I was working on here in the sewing room that she has discovered. I'm going to do while I'm sitting here. I want to make sure these are evenly distributed. So I'm going to turn this around and do it upside down. So what I'm going to do is use this little ruler as my spacer for, for how far in I want it. That way I have a, like a template. And let me tell you, you don't, you just use whatever you have, you know, that's about the right size. So it's three quarters, is it actually just a hair less than three quarters of an inch so it's it's really not critical um, you just want something fairly narrow that you can use as a spacer Ooh, I that wrong I want it on the top that's the side this is the top but then I caught that because all my temp all my mats would have been off okay so remember you want it on a solid edge not an opening So I'm just going to lay this little ruler here, and I'm going to put that there, line up the tops, and like so. I have no idea what we're going to use to close this. I haven't decided. Okay, so then we have this one, which goes here, right? So I'm just going to do the exact same thing. This is kind of similar to that waterfall, that pinwheel waterfall that I sometimes make, but it's easier. And um, it's very effective, and these are big enough to hold four by six photos without trimming, which is nice. Okay, there's that one. Okay, now we're gonna have this one. And you can see this is very straightforward. one just going to go right here Whoop. It slipped on me make sure it's good 
good. It is good. Huge. And actually, the way I was thinking these would go is actually like this. Like that. Okay. I think. But it could go however you want. So we just need to decide how are we going to close this. Because this is a lot of layers for magnet to go through. What do you think? Maybe two magnets. Oh gosh, hang on. I can't find out what she got into. Okay, what I'm thinking is maybe, maybe use like a magnet on this one, and then another magnet on this one. Because it would be, I mean, it would be difficult to get ties on here that look nice. Plus, we already used ties. Let me think about this magnet situation. Or do we not worry about this, the bottom? And just, like if we had one right about there, oh, sorry, that's, all right, let's say we had one right about there. Because remember, these are going to have mats and photos and everything else. All right, so one is not going to cut it, I don't think. Let's start with one. We may need... A second one higher up. So let's start with one. Right, so what I'm going to do is we're going to put this one about here. Actually, that's not where I'm going to put that. Let's do it this way. It'd be easier if we do it the other way. Okay, so this one's going to go right about there. This one is going to go there. I'm just, like I said, I'm trying to re reduce, you know, the amount of bulk that's going to be between the various magnets. I do think I'm going to need four. I'll need these two, and then I think I need one up here that's somewhere up here. that and we're gonna have that and then we have that that's actually not bad let's see hmm, that might be enough all right let's leave it like that I think that's gonna be good okay then we need to put a mat here okay, this is so big I'm having a hard time getting it on the camera I am going to do a three, a triple mat with the linen, the craft, and this brown, which is uh, the back of this floral. Oh, excuse me, I sneezed. Okay, um, I like it, but I don't think it adds that much. And if I try to, I don't have any pictures handy. Let me just grab. Okay, let's pretend this is a picture. You know, if I want to put it here, it's going to go off. I don't know. Let's bring it over and see. I just feel like this brown adds nothing to this. I'm not going to use it. We'll save it. We'll find another home for it. Okay. Now we have to take this and put it here.
Yeah, I like that without the brown. I think it looks nice. Something just really appealing about the linen, the craft, and the black together. It's very elegant to me. really pretty. I like that a lot. Okay, now, wait, back at this page. What did I do with it? Let's bring back my little work surface here. And take me a minute because i got to figure out what I was planning on doing. Oh, I know. This is a stacked pocket. Okay, so we need very carefully. This needs to be marked. This is the top. I don't want to get this out of whack. Okay, top. So what I've got is a large pocket and then a smaller pocket, and they're just going to be stacked. So super easy. If you've watched very many of my videos, you'll know that I very rarely do anything that could be classified as difficult. I tend to use very similar elements over and over again. Sometimes I worry about it, I think, oh, maybe I'm not creative enough, I, I should come up with more ideas, but I like what I do, so it is what it is. Sorry, I just stopped talking. Um, I'm just doing these just like every other pocket, where we are uh, trimmed out the corners and the top, and I have just folding and burnishing. Sorry, it is. I don't usually record at night because I work nights, um, but I actually was homesick today, so I am recording a little bit, so I guess I'm just a little out of whack. Shown that's the top, so this goes down here. Where am I going? All right, let's go there. All right, let me pick this up so I can match it. Excuse me if my head's in the shot. Test fit that, and it's a little bit big, I think. Oh no, it's not. I think it's fine. It's just out of whack a little bit. Here we go. All right. Yep, that's good. Okay, so there's the larger pocket, and then we have the smaller pocket going to sit right on top of the larger one. I like doing stacked pockets because I like the way the inserts and tags look in them. Plus it gives you a lot of storage space. Of course this is a pretty big album. So it should have plenty of space. That definitely looks a little big to me. Is that too big? Hang on. No, I guess it's alright. Speaking of awkward, okay. It's sticking out a little in this lower corner, but it's okay. There we go. One, two, three. Now, let's figure out the mats. Pretty sure that one was going there, maybe. Okay, well, that one had to be going that way because otherwise those would be upside down. That. Yeah, I think that's how these were going. Awesome. 
Okay, now we are done, except for that one page that I don't know yet what I'm gonna do. So let me bring these back. So we have, let's see, we start here. Okay, so we have our double flaps, and of course we need our insides. We have pocket. We have this very wide band with a pocket. We have this uh, sort of modified waterfall thing with flaps. We have another pocket with a flap. We have nothing here yet. We have these flaps and these pockets. But that is good for now. Where are we at? 50 minutes, give or take. By the time I edit it down, it will be a little bit. Okay, so I will come back. We'll probably do a short video with that, or maybe we'll do that and insert the pages into the cover. So if you've not already, go ahead and make your cover. Wrap it in the uh, black artisan cardstock. All your measurements are going to be in the cutting guide, which is linked down below. And that is it. So thank you so much for watching. You can get all the supplies for this album at Country Craft Creations, which will be linked down below. This is a design team project. And next time, like I said, we will keep going with this. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. If you have, thank you so much. Uh, please like, share, hit the notification bell, all those other things. They all really help the channel. They really do, and I appreciate it. Thanks so much for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.